Oh, back to reality. So if you guys don't know, I've been away. I've been uh, on a fishing boat in uh, British Columbia on the coast of BC for about 50 days. I was prawn fishing and everything went really great. No, it's a really nice break. You get away, you get to see uh, lots of wildlife. I got to see lots of dolphins and eagles and fish and prawns and all that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun, really interesting, nice sort of break from the world and all the wildness that's going on. Come home to just like hot as hell weather, uh, which I really like, but our house just gets really hot. So uh, I've been bugging my wife to come home because we've been staying with my in-laws. Uh, she doesn't want to go home because it's so hot. I want to get home to get my comics and everything. Uh, but we finally got here and got my comics, got my fix, dropped uh, some serious money because it was also the half off sale, uh, back issue sale at my store. So I cleaned up there, got a few books and I got all my pull lists that I've been missing. And I went pretty heavy on the, uh, the event, the Secret Wars and all that. So I it, it ended up costing me a few bucks, especially if there's like a couple $6 issues in there and stuff. So uh, it adds up pretty quick. Uh, also, I actually got this like uh, a week before I left or really week after I left. My wife got it. I ordered it right before I left because uh, I was worried it would be gone because it was a really good price for what I got. So this is a piece of original comic book art. I'll, I'll reveal it here. Ma'am. So this is uh, a Mateo Santaluco piece. It came from the... IDW Ninja Turtles series, the uh, City Fall run. So this is uh, some of his first run, uh, first work on Ninja Turtles. He did uh, the mini series before that, but uh, this is from issue 27, page 17. So he does the pencils and the inks on it, and I just, I'm so pumped to have this. As you can see, you get all the turtles on there except for Leonardo because he was away. Uh, they sort of have this sinister team up with uh, Old Hob and Slash and Splinters there. And they're uh, basically picking a fight with this rival gang. So they show up and they just cause a ruckus. There's lots of awesome action. Santa Luca does a great job with action. Great job with expressions of the characters and things like that. And uh, I really like down here you see Donatello using his like anti-gravity glove uh, to do something very Donatello-esque. So beautiful action, uh, really high detailed type uh, image. And I, th I think Santa Luco just makes the turtles look so badass. I really liked his work on the turtles, especially some of the earlier guys were just not up to par. So he really stepped it up and brought that book, I think, up into uh, the next level in terms of art and storytelling. So I was really excited to get this. Matteo Santaluco, uh, not really that popular of an artist, so I was able to get this for a really good price. I couldn't believe it. Because uh, generally when you buy these kind of pieces, anything with action, and especially with the main characters and everything on it, uh, it tends, they tend, those pages tend to be more expensive. But this uh, was only like 200 bucks, so I was really, really stoked to get this. I called it a Father's Day gift because uh, I was going to be away. So that is that. Now uh, I'm just going to leave that as the background and I'm going to show off some of the uh, books I picked up from Half Off Sale. I'm so out of the loop that I have no idea what's hot or awesome right now. Uh, so I did a lot of sort of run filling type stuff and just kind of quickly went through and looked for stuff that whatever sort of interested me, random things. Uh, I've been really into Bronze Age lately, so I got a few of these Bronze Age daredevils uh this is number 97 daredevil and black widow yeah so these are all half off so that was four bucks so pretty stoked on that uh this is daredevil or deadpool 33 this is from the second run the way run um these were like there's a whole pile of these so for two bucks each so i should have probably just loaded it up but uh you know spending so much on my pole i didn't really want to go too nuts uh and i did end up spending a lot in the end so uh, Swamp Thing 29, part of the Alan Moore run I've been working on. I really enjoyed this. Uh, Swamp Thing 61, looks like Swampy's got the Green Lantern ring on that one. And from the Charles Soul run, uh, Swamp Thing 21. I have 19, I'm missing 20, and a few from right after this. So I'm trying to fill that arc up. What else? Uh, 
Oh, some sweet Starenko art. That uh, Deadpool book I showed earlier, that's like a, a Nick Fury of Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, cover swipe, a Starenko cover swipe. So Starenko just has such a cool, unique style. This is copying that famous painting, uh, which name is eluding me. Uh, but just a really cool, unique, sort of psychic, psycho 70s, 60s, 70s, uh, like dreamscape type thing. So sinister figures following him, sort of the wrath of time chasing him as he escapes. Uh, yeah, so really, really cool. This is a pretty beat up book. This is only five bucks. It's hard to turn down Silver Age stuff for five bucks, especially like artists like Serenko. Uh, what else? This is the Comic-Con variant of the Century number one. Uh, it's his first appearance and it's a variant, so I figured it was $1.50. Uh, why not grab it? Uh, Daredevil 2099 from the Marvel Knights run. I've never heard of this. Uh, it's Robert Kirkman, though. Uh, he's kind of doing more of a Spidey pose in that one, but yeah, I thought... Oh, I didn't even realize there was a 29 for Daredevil, so... Grabbed it, and we'll see how that is. I have no idea. All right, more classic Daredevil. I might even have this issue. I'm looking at it now, and it looks really familiar. So uh, this is more Bronze Age, number 93, Daredevil Black Widow. Man, I love just the bright, bold colors on these old books. I also love the titles and everything, how they do it. Everything is really, like, bold and in your face, and it's sort of unapologetic. I love that. Uh, Daredevil Black Widow, 95. Just getting uh, tackled by the man bull. Yeah, it looks... Uh, I'm not going to make any jokes, actually. <laughs> uh, all right, and I got some Spideys here. So these are some earlier ones. These were 5 bucks each, which isn't really the best price for these. But, I don't know, I was going through, and uh, I think some of these I actually have. But uh, this is a whole, whole arc, so I figured, yeah, I'll grab it. And it's got Daredevil as a part of it, so wanted to grab that. So this is uh, Amazing Spider-Man 286. Uh, 285, Punisher in there, 284, Hammerhead. I read the uh, Venom series while I was away uh, by Rick Remender, and I really liked it. Uh, it got me choked up at times with his relationship with his father. And uh, this guy, what's his name? Uh, oh, I'm going to have it written down because I'm freaking drawing a plank, but... What, what he did was he brought some of the more obscure villains uh, into Venom's repertoire and made brought them into sort of uh, developed them a lot more. And he developed this character really well. There's an awesome issue where they go on a road trip together. And uh, it's pretty messed up, but it's really good, too. Uh, 288, part five, the conclusion. Uh got this i was like oh this is amazing spider-man 600 it's kind of like a fat five dollar issue so that was 250 i was like oh i don't have this yet but i forgot i don't really collect anything after brand new day um the flash number 140 so this i've seen this book in that uh bin forever it's pretty beat up like you can see uh the marks i haven't even taken it out i don't know hopefully it's it's all attached there but it's only 15 bucks or it was half price, so that was seven fifty Canadian, and uh, I think that's the first appearance of Heatwave there. So minor sort of Flash uh, first appearance, but I figured Silver Age Flash book first appearance, why not? Um, this is uh, Detective Comics five twenty three, and I think this is something. There's something about this one. Uh, I can't remember what it is though. Uh, first. Appearance of someone, maybe. I, I, I can't remember. Some dude, Jason Todd, maybe. I'll tell you also down below. Like I said, I'm out of the game right now. I'm sort of not super fresh. But I got a bunch of stuff to show off, so I want to get this all out right now. I got Batman 522. Just had Swamp Thing in there, so I figured, oh, that might be interesting. I like seeing that crossover. Uh, this is Batman Eternal 28. I sold my... Uh, or this is Batman 28, which is a preview of Batman Eternal which is uh, the first appearance of Harper Row as Bluebird. So I figured for like a uh, buck fifty, why not?
And then I got Amazing Spider-Man number 72. And this is a fairly decent grade. Like, there's a bunch of spine ticks, but besides that, looks pretty good. Colors are really bright. That's what's really important to me. And there's no, like, major rips or anything like that. Uh, yeah, this, this is 25 bucks Canadian, which is, so that's like, uh, $20 US, I guess. Uh, so yeah, I was happy with that. You, I probably could find this online for a bit cheaper, but, uh, you know, I, you, you, you don't want to just get all the fillers on the half off day. You want to get something that's a little bit bigger. So chipping away, I'd love to get the first hundred issues of Amazing Spider-Man at some point. Uh, so getting these smaller ones every once in a while is nice to do. Okay, this is Bush League, guys. My iPad ran out of memory, so I'm just going to finish it up on here because I want to get this published now. So this is DC Comics Presents number 26. This is the first appearance of the new Teen Titans. So that's like Raven and Cyborg and not Beast Boy, but he joins the team there. But yeah, so this I bought this from my store for like 15 bucks before it got hot. And uh, he has this one, which is lower grade than the other one I got for 80 So I got this half off for $40. Uh, probably just use it as trade bait or throw it up on eBay and get some US dollars in my eBay account. Um, so if you're interested, let me know. But uh, yeah, this is a really sweet first appearance. There's like three or four first appearances in there. So uh, pretty sweet book. It's probably a fine, uh, all, very fine minus maybe. It's got, looks really good actually. It's better than when I originally thought. There's a couple little marks down there, and there's sort of some wear right on the around the staples. But besides that, it looks pretty good. So stoked on that. And lastly, let's go. I got this. I went to the flea market on Sunday, and I got pretty stoned. There was a fair amount of comics, but I just bought tons of crap from the half off sale. So I wasn't really interested in anything unless it was going to be something I really wanted. And there just wasn't much there. There was a whole bin of fifty cent comics, which is like never there. Standard price is usually a buck or more each, but uh, I went through all the things and there's just they must have had been picked through it must have been third or fourth week uh, They've been there, but I did get these uh, This is mouse by art Spielberg and the Spielgman and this is uh one of the first comic books I ever read we had it in our classroom in like grade seven and I was like oh cool like mouse comics so that we can read that's awesome no idea what's about I don't remember really knowing much about Auschwitz and uh, World War II and things like that, but it's like uh, sort of a, what you call it, uh, one's like anthropomorphic people, so the mice represent the Jews and cats represent the Nazis, and it's sort of the story of a survivor of Auschwitz as he's sort of telling the story to his son. Uh, really powerful, heavy, heavy-duty stuff, like there's gas chambers and stuff in this, like I remember being really shocked. Because I just wasn't really prepared as a kid to read this, but really good, and it basically taught me all about World War II and and uh, the Holocaust and all that. So awesome books. Glad to find these. I got these for five bucks for the pair. So happy to. Uh, I'm gonna give these a read again and check those out. But if you guys haven't read this, highly highly recommend it. Art Spielman, uh, Mouse. So that's gonna be it, guys. Uh, good seeing you. Glad to be back. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing your guys' videos and uh, getting updated here. So take care.